Hey there, and welcome back to Starship of Terrors, Season 2 of Inkbound, the roguelike action strategy game by Shiny Shoe. I'm still a little bummed out about that last loss on, well, I guess for you all it will be have been a week ago, but for me it was not too long in the past. It's tough. The, obviously, you know, they raised the difficulty. There are 10 new difficulty tiers in the game, and there are new enemies. There's all sorts of stuff. The game is harder, and it's just true. But I will be honest with you, oof, sometimes it is frustrating just kind of passing away and... It's not exactly clear what could have been done. I, I have a much harder time tracing my losses in this game back to a decision that I made, which is one of the reasons I like Monster Train and just roguelike deck builders in general, is that usually you can go, hmm, well, I made this call back then, that was obviously a mistake. I think it's also one of the reasons I've moved on from like Slay the Spire, right? Because I feel like Unless you have eidetic memory, there are just so many decisions in the game and it runs for so bloody long, you know, an episode would be like four hours or something, that I won't remember everything. And the run summary is not comprehensive enough for me to realize all of the mistakes or whatever that might have happened. But regardless, it's one of the reasons I like Monster Train, is that it's very easy to pinpoint what happened. It makes for good discussion, I think. That, I have no idea how you would possibly do that here. Perhaps if they actually created a run summary screen, that would be good. But anyway, we are moving on from the Star Captain. We had a pretty depressing loss there. I think the trinket I picked is just bad for him, honestly, right? I had the lose 25 max hit points, but gain one ability power and three max hit points every combat. And a little slow, just not as powerful as some of the other options would have been. Came with a downside. I think they honestly could have gotten rid of the penalty on that altogether. And just had it give you one ability power when you finish a combat. Maybe it sounds boring, but it seems like it would have been much more logical, balanced, reasonable. The initial penalty is not worth the payout here, in my opinion. You just take too many hit, take too much of a hit early game to make up for it with what nine ability power get out of here man that's not even as good as any of the burn or the damage per time upgrades right because i'm gonna play weaver here but if we just casually look i'm gonna be taking blaze of bridget just look at this burn is more likely to show up in drafts already that's excellent i get free burn stacks on the nearest enemy and i gain free burn damage this is already providing more value than ability power would have, but it also has this payout at the end that after you've applied 40 stacks of burn over the course of the run, you permanently double the bonus damage? What? I mean, there's no downside, and then you get a huge jump. So, yeah, kind of incomparable. Also on this run, however, because it's a new week, welcome back. We will be doing the magic that is a Scribbles giveaway. So Scribbles is this little friend here. It's a little cat buddy. We all love Scribbles. And so the idea here is that at some point during this run, usually towards the end, I will give you a keyword. You'll have to use that keyword in a sentence in a comment below, and that will enter you into the giveaway. That's pretty much it. And then I will draw from them over the next couple days and you'll have a chance to earn scribbles. It's getting to the point where I don't think there are that many people in my watching my videos who are also playing Inkbound who do not already have scribbles. But hey, if that it, but all that means is that if you're the one person left who needs it, then you kind of are guaranteed to get it. So fair enough. Anyway, I think that's all I've got for you, so we'll go ahead and get in on our deep dive today. So, as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully we do better than we did last time. Good grief. Woof. Yeah, all right, let's go. That was a really unfortunate loss. I just kind of passed away. I was like, all right, well, that's fun. Burrowers are a nonsense unit. All right. I didn't even get a chance to fight Cinder, so I'm not actually going to rule him out. Our previous boss was Argolath in that respect. 1,600 stacks of burn? Excuse me? Not a chance. Shadow of Runestone, critical hitter days. I mean, this, this would have been Cinder anyway, so we're going to take him and move on. 
see what we roll into this time. Unstable Effigy, Voice of Fortunes, Elusive Whisper, all pretty bad commons, honestly. Well, I'm going to take Widened Stitch, I suppose. Widen Increased AoE range. Yeah, I'm going to try that, I think. That seems fine. I'll hit more things, which is good. The other ones, none of them really dealt damage. So I do want to boost Stitch and Thread here. I think I'm going to take the Unstable Effigy because it at least does damage. Right? The Smites do something. Gross. I have to take Ink Shell because Wit Thief kills me. Overstimulated kills me. I Okay, I take Ink Shell. They need more variety on these that are not so punishing. Good grief. These challenge modifiers, I do not like that the way that they've set up. Enemies should not be having a chance of rolling up here with 40% damage resist after you play, right? It would be nice if... I don't know, it'd be nice if enemies just got harder or something, right? There was just like a scaling, just more health or I don't know, something like that in book two or whatever. And it was not a forced choice like this. It would also be nice because then I could actually pick the variety of whatever my books are going to be, right? I'd be able to actually select something. As opposed to this, which is get wrecked, pretty much. Let's see, I can we do one shot here, we do one shot here, I do one shot here, and I have everything. Okay, that's pretty good. I want to stop the damage that's on me here. So we'll stop that hit first. I'm gonna shoot the other friend. We shoot the guy on the bottom right. I take the orb and then we smite and then I constrict. Pretty good. Those enemies are gonna swing on me now, but it's okay. We move up here. I don't know if I can get a double here or a triple rather. It might be possible. Eh, well, I can't do it, I don't think. That's okay. I'm going to move into position. We're going to do Big Blast. I think killing the other friend here is more important. I'm going to shoot the guy. We rolled the crit, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to orb, which smites him, which takes all the damage away. Good. And then I think we finish the combat with no penalty. Good job. Hashtag Weaver things. Okay, burn damage. Good, good. Rope friction. Inflict two stacks of burn. Yes, click that. And then I'm going to take burn damage here, and that's going to be solid. Great news. We're on, a, we're on what we're looking for. We found burn, and... That's great. That's excellent. Blink is pretty much a required upgrade for the Weaver right now. I've had people argue with me about... I'm going to take Blink, by the way. Big surprise. I've had people argue with me about this. They're like, oh, he doesn't need movement. He's so strong. He is, he is the Weaver. Strongest class right now. And I just hardcore disagree with that take. I find that it is wild to believe that. Maybe someone who has an inordinate amount of experience or is abusing very specific strategies that are or like upgraded trinkets that are just that powerful or something, they can say something like that. But I think it is just objectively incorrect. So yeah, I'm going to shoot this guy down real quick. Then I'm going to take this orb to smite. I'm going to walk away, and this gives me a much stronger rope friction here, which I'm happy about. That guy does need to die because of Ink Drain, though. That is just kind of an objective point of fact. So, we're going to try our best to kill this guy. Right. Ink Shell. Awful. Awful. Okay, well, I am just going to take a batrillion damage then, I guess. Fine. Smote that guy. I guess he's healing from something. Not really sure what... Oh, he's healing because he's hitting me. All right, that makes some sense, I suppose. Laser beam this guy. We don't get the kill. Unfortunate, that's permanent HP loss. Fair enough. 
We're gonna move up there. I do want to, I get a good shatter as a result. What is this called? Stitch? Same idea. Did I lose controlled weaving from that? No, they don't count. Very strange. Well, fair enough. Orb <laughs> zapped the guy. That's fine. I am going to do more work. I lose more health here, and I don't really think there's anything I could do about it. I can teleport, but it doesn't change anything, right? Boop. There goes my max HP. It's cool. We get out of the combat. I take two max HP for the combat. Unfortunate, but... You know, I, I think that this Ink Drain's tooltip that I'm taking is wrong. I don't, enemies didn't seem to heal 20% when they attacked me. Oh, burn damage plus four. That seems good. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. I'm going to reroll this anyway. Yeah, two more stacks of burn. Yes, please. Although, I like shielding blink, actually. Hmm. Two more stacks of burn. Do damage. Shielding Blink seems really good. I should grab that, actually. Just deciding. And I'm going to take the burn damage mo mod here. I think that's fair. I need to upgrade on this. I'd like the... I'd like to actually feel stronger. So we're going to take some Binding Empowerment. I think we need to do this in order to avoid passing away. What is this guy doing here? Weird. I don't know what he wants. Okay. All bindings gain two crit chance and 25 crit damage for each thread attached to you. That is one of the strangest and most interest. That's so interesting. Huh? Anyway, I'm here. Close here. I go clicking patchwork stitch again. Turns out I like shield. This is weird. I like it. It's it's bizarre because crits don't roll when this is happening, right? I'm not roll. The way crits roll is that they roll when they come off of cooldown. They don't roll when I attack with them. So this actually feels bad, right? Why would I want this? Yeah, I'm not crazy. This seems bad. But it's very interesting. I'm anyway, I'm going to reroll it because that seems awful. On your turn, inflict one stack of frostbite and three stacks of burn to enemies. Yeah, okay. I want to click that one. Yes. That just seems stronger to me. I need money now. Oh, I actually just need glyphs. We're going to take glyphs here. I am going to go fish. Oh, crit chance fish is good. I like that quite a bit. This is also going to be a good... Yeah, this is a really good combat for it, actually. I think this is my treasure pot, pretty likely. Yeah, there he is. There's the goon. There's the guy. Hate these enemies. The cultists. Okay, I can at least do some damage here, which is not bad. Why does he buff this guy? That's un that's un mean. Rude. All right. Teleport first. Actually, go back here. Teleport first. Then we laser a bit. Yes, we kill the man. We then... I don't have a lot of movement here. Grab the orb. Burn enemies. Does that actually hit him? I guess it does. Okay, sure. Zap him, and then we sit. That is some burn damage I've got on enemies. They apply some additional burns. Good, good. I'd like to... Controlled weaving here. Solid. Pull in and kill as many enemies as I can get. Yes. Good. Apply burn. Teleport for shield. I guess I already have seven shield here, so I'm actually doing okay. Although I can... I can just kill this guy, which is not a bad call. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna kill this guy and apply some burn. We stopped this other friend. I have the blink on cooldown as needed. 
It's a pretty good crit roll, actually. So, yeah, I zap. I crit roll here. I blink for shield. I take orb. I rolled another crit. Oh, yeah. I know why this is happening. Good grief. I was all confused. It's because of the fish. I was like, what is happening? I feel like I'm rolling so many crits here. But there is a reason for it, as it turns out. Cool. Go team. We did it. <laughs> it makes suddenly everything I'm experiencing makes a lot of sense. Crunch everything. Orb. And then we zap the enemy. Pazow. We're good. All right, we get out of this combat. Cool. Bam. Got it. All right, good stuff. So we did a good job there. I think it was a good time to use the fish. Very pleased about that. More burn damage, I guess. I would take some magic power now, though. Elemental threads again. This stacks, so six stacks of burn every turn. It's not bad, honestly. Well, it's not terrible. Critical Constrict, not, that's also not bad, but I guess I'll take it. Do it again. Sure. More burn damage. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I actually need to be doing either more defense or I need to be more more defensive to survive the fact that I'm relying on burns or something. You know, like incendiary seems nice. I'd like to be a little more front loaded possibly. After image might be the play though, because it's here. I do think it's after image here. I actually think incendiary is nice. Absolutely, don't get me wrong. Blink is kind of defensive. It's defensive in its own way, right? Move out of the way of enemies, but it's not going to stop me from taking 5 million damage. I think I'm going to take after image here. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's fine. Sea Breach or a Tethered Shrine. I don't really know what matters here. Powerful choice. I think the temple, the shrine is going to be stronger on average here, so I'll take that. We'll see what we get out of it. And hopefully we'll high roll, right? Just hit. Just give me a legendary or something. Ten movement. No, I have blink. I don't care about that. Take ability power, maybe? It's not bad. Crit damage would be good. I have, like, no relics. I also have a, a card, a quest here to go and visit the carver. And I skipped the carver once, and suddenly they've never shown me another carver in this entire bloody run so far. So, that's unfortunate. I think crit damage is viable because of after image here. I think it's better than the ability power. All right, I think so. I think it's stronger than movement. I have teleportation. Oh, hey, there's a carver. As soon as I was complete and complaining, it's like, here you go. Here's your carver, my guy. All right, cool. Thank you. Appreciate that for me. On critting, gain a shield. All right. I feel like we can lean that direction. It's pretty decent. Sure, I do have a guaranteed crit sometimes. Sometimes. Outlawed works. It's pretty good, actually, right? I don't mind the movement loss here because I have teleporting, so it doesn't really matter to me that much. Crystallarium is also pretty good. Just five magic power here is a big solid jump. Sure, that seems like a big jump. We'll go and take both of these and I'll give up the five movement and I'm okay with that. We power up, feels good. Okay, all right. Now I just have to survive Lusk, who is probably going to murder me and everything that I stand for. 31 damage on turn one, that seems normal. Normal and good, normal and good. I love being surrounded by every single enemy in the world. It's just a real good feeling. We're gonna go down here. I'm gonna teleport to the left, which gets me 
Can I get four guys here? There's gotta be, there is. Great. And then I think we just blast and hit as many enemies out as we can. It stops a ton of damage. Okay. I'm going to dodge. Stop five. I reduce this down to two. Okay. It could have been much worse, right? Could have been so much worse. All right. We're going to get two guys here. Okay. I'm going to get two guys here. We're going to get two guys here. I finally get controlled weaving. Incredible work. Go team. We will take an orb. I'm going to blast and kill three guys on the right. I will hit the friend on the left. I'm going to do burns on the right. We take the orb. I teleport out and I apply more burn. Okay, and this should also apply, I think, six stacks of burn. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, feeling better about this all of a sudden. I want to hit for Stitch. Apply burn, it's fine. We orb, I will teleport just for the block. We burn again. I stab him. I stab him again. Okay. I think we phase here, so I just zap him a couple times. We sit on this orb, and we wait for a, this turn that's coming up. Yeah, I love how the eggs spawned off in the middle of nowhere. That's really cool, actually, video game. Thank you for doing that. These eggs are horrible for weavers, by the way. Just truly astronomically bad for so many reasons. I am not sure. I'm not going to. I'm definitely not getting everything here. I need to. All right, yeah, it's going to be the burn, I think. Man, I just do not have the mobility here to deal with this. We are going to teleport first. I'm then going to stab. I then. This is now a pretty good orb angle. I kill with a I kill with a lot of things over there actually. I can do a lot of damage. Yeah, so we hit on the right. I take the orb and I laser beam. This reduces this down to 3 damage and I'm going to just have to accept that turn pretty much. Okay. Fine. I think this is the turn where I'm actually capable of Dying, apparently. No, that's okay. I actually think I have the tools required to get everything here. We shoot there. I shoot down here. I get controlled weaving. Which means I can yank. I can take this orb from a distance. There is no safe spot from this goon, for the record. So, we're just going to teleport for the shield, then. I am killing on this turn, actually. Kind of shockingly. I don't think I can do any better. I can, uh, sure, I can save one health, hit a guy. Yeah, alright. Cool, I take four. Fair enough, man burns to death, all good. I had ten block on that turn, which is pretty solid, so we'll take it. Okay. We didn't get rope burn. Oh no. Well, I'm not taking either of these. I'm definitely re-rolling this. No rope burn means I'm sad. On defeating enemies you've threaded or on detaching one of your threads, restore health. Or gain evasive on evasive blink. Both of those very strong. I'm going to re-roll the ascension though. Yes, loom. Yeah, Loom is incredible. Yeah, that's great news. You could do Tether and then go for the Vitality one, but truly, Loom is excellent. Man, they made it, they were, they nerfed Loom. Didn't it used to do damage too? Well, I need Loom just because enemies are gonna have, there's, I just need the everything else. It's gonna be Loom no matter what, and you can't stop me. 
I'm worried about health, I can take draining threads. This will add up. Discounting image is not bad. Evasive blink is also very good. I also potentially could reroll this. And rerolling this might give me what? It could give me spawn an orb on blink, which is pretty solid. But it could also whiff horribly. That's true. I'm going to take Draining Threads. I actually think this is going to provide a lot of value over the course of this run. And we're okay with that. All right, there's nothing I needed to do back here, I believe. Yeah, it was just a shop and I was done with the shop. Okay, cool. We get a big heal walking out of this level anyway, so I'm not that concerned about it. Oh, good grief. Okay, heal me. Great. And NPCs, conversations. Wow, blah, blah, blah. Lore. All right. Crit chance. Okay. On critting, gain shield. I have some synergy for this. And I don't want to go all in on the burn damage, so let's spread it out a little bit. This combined with after image, I think, will help. Yes. Shimmering barricade derelict starship. I'm pretty comfy. Yeah, that's happening. Okay, good job. Good job. We're, good. We're doing that. Shimmering barricade. Fair enough. We'll take it. What is this guy? What are you doing? I don't know what's happening. Okay, I clicked that. I don't know what that did for my quests. I should actually look and see what what happened. If I get a legendary in here, that'll be good. Oh, I had to speak to that guy. I have to get a key card. Okay, I don't know how to get a key card. Cool, good chat. We'll figure it out. You and me today. Let's take the heroic vault here. Definitely. I already have four four glyphs is enough for the moment. Shoot some enemies. Pop the goop. Great news. Egg. We get some eggs. That's okay with me. Walk out of the bad thing here. And uh, just kind of an annoying position, honestly, but fine. I guess I'm going to take the crit binding. I don't know what else to say. Apply more burn. That seems okay. Sure. Enemies burn out. What is this? Oh, Vanguard. These guys. Oof. Not a fan. Okay. Now, Loom is going to save me a lot here because that is the entire purpose of the thing. Kill the thing. Gain health. We jump for block. I'm good with that. Take orb. And then we apply more burn. And I may as well take some damage here. Or apply some damage, rather. And I might as well stab the enemy, right? There's no reason not to. Alright. Need to keep... Flying controlled weaving to folks. Walk out. We're gonna do the teleport. I wish to blast. Excellent. We apply the burn. We're critting with burn, killing enemies with that. And I am gaining a lot of health from this, which is excellent. I take damage, but it doesn't really matter. I'm okay. Good grief, the enemies are doing a lot of damage to me. Unpleasant. Well, we killed one enemy at least, that is something. I'm gonna roll a crit binding here. Well, we didn't hit. Cool, I take nothing here now. Great work, because he attacks, but it dodges, and then he burns away, and then I get healed. Great job. Thank you, Draining Threads. Very cool. I, I love how they give me Draining Threads, and then immediately I get three healing relics. Just, really? Really, Inkbound? You're doing that to me? It's tough. We hate to see it. We truly hate to see it. Gain one shield for every enemy hit. Yeah, you know what? I like defense. Unga click defense. Defense good. Magic power? I mean, I'll take a plus one magic power. At this point, I think that's going to be more consistent than the three crit chance. With It also affects burn damage? Yeah, I take that. I'm going to re I'm gonna spend 50 gold to re-roll this vestige, which is truly abysmal. 
Yeah, here we go. Moss Mother's Embrace. Now we're cooking. Now I can lean a lot more into crit chance there. That's great. Go to every carver that exists because I need to do it or else I'm not completing my legendary thing. Take oozing jelly, very strong. I don't think I can afford anything here. On your turn, use constrict or its ascensions on all enemies. I've used this before and I just did not understand anything that it was doing. It did not seem to behave the way I expected. We're gonna go heroic vault again. I'm gonna save my fish. This fish is kind of, kind of like a very strong guaranteed win on a, a combat. If I can save it for the end game, I'm very happy about that. Big dinosaur. We love big dinosaur. It's incredible. This guy's gigantic. I'm gonna use the evasion here. Ah, it misses, unfortunate. I was hoping to hit the stitch here. That would have been excellent, but unfortunately we did not hit it. Move, take the orb, apply burn damage. Taking zero on the turn, seems okay. That burn damage is substantial. I need to get controlled weaving again. All right, it's back. We go for huge crit angle here. Or not crit angle, really. I just need to do damage to the treasure pot, honestly. Just do as much damage as the game will let me do to the treasure pot. We actually do get the kill on the treasure pot, which is excellent news. And a lot of burn on everything else. This Stantalope is going to take an age and a half to kill, and that's just gonna have to be okay. What is this guy called? Chompy? Is this a Chompy? That is a Chompy. Indeed, it is the Chompy of Chomps. Well, okay, the right choice is to maximize damage immediately, which basically just Shadow Realms those guys. Pretty cool. I'm taking zero. That seems unlikely, but I will take it. Orb, crit roll, cool. Oh, I guess it's because I have literally 25 shield on this turn. Cool, this man hits me for 12 and I just do not care. All right, that seems good. Controlled weaving. Pull him in. Blast him. We're going to laser beam here. Yeah, laser beam is good. 15 block. All right. Zero damage on the turn. And then they all die and I get healed for zero because I'm full health. Cool. Shocking core cap is very strong. 15 crit chance. We click these. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Enable my crit build, please. I actually think with 33 crit chance, we start taking crit damage to smooth out some of this damage, these damage numbers. We're actually surprisingly hybrid. Evasive image. Yeah, more of the dodge, please. More dodge, please. Great news. Big fan of this. All right. I get my ascension. I have six glyphs. We should be okay. There's a shot. There's a, what is this thing called? A potion. Tangle or so. Any balance changes on these? So looks like it's just more damage. Cool. Yes. Tangle. Now, I always struggle between Tangle and So, right? So I do 190 to an enemy. So Tangle is better if I only have one thing, but the cool thing about it is it threads everything. So is the one that you click if you can get more than two enemies procced, right? So Sue is so is going to be stronger on pretty much every combat up until the final boss. And then it's going to be weaker because there's not as many enemies. I still think it's worth it, so we're going to click it. I could also do the one that I'm pretty sure detaches, but it requires I re-roll and I might whiff. So I'm just going to take so. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to look at this. I'm actually going to open up the next one. We go to the carver here for sure, right? 
Look, I know I have a quest to go talk to this guy. I'm just gonna be real with you. I gotta go to the carver, okay? If I don't go to the carver, I'm not getting my... I'm not getting anything on this run. What is this? Disintegration oil? No. Mine are better. If I don't go to this carver, I'm not getting my run quest, so that would be bad. What is this? Survivor Bonsai? He looks cool. One physical power for every 15 health I lose. Well, no, I'm not getting that. Swindler's Getaway. I feel like I feel like if something that has getaway in its name doesn't give you movement speed, then what is it doing? Seriously. Why is this not giving me movement speed? This doesn't make any sense. Controlled explosives is terrible for a mostly burn build. If I were Moron on the crit solely on physical damage, it'd be nuts. I'll spin it, see what we hit. I'll take another shocking core cap, actually. I mean, really, I should grab the cheese cards here. It's not going to be as useful in general, but it'll pay for itself, and I will happily take five crit chance. Maybe? Maybe. I'm going to grab that, actually, and we're just going to get rid of outlawed works here. Remember, I'm also, every time I crit on something, I'm gaining shields. This is kind of huge. We're looking a lot better now. I'll take the rare augment. We go down. Yeah, this is looking pretty solid. Open the potion bottle. What do you find? It's a potion. Look, more dinosaurs. I love these creatures art. I have a very big soft spot in my natural existence for dinosaur. There's just something very cool about dinosaur to me. Taking a lot of damage here. That's okay, I can fix this. That's a lot. That is, excuse me, that's a lot of... I gained four shield, and I guess I gained a stack of evasion, which I suppose that's good. More crit, more shield. Sure, seems good to me. Again, nine block here with bunches of evasions. Those are some beefy enemies to have to chew through, but... We are, sh I think we're okay. Yeah, that's the play. Hit this guy here, we just zam, we just absolutely crumble a majority of the enemies. Cool, that's good. Orb, more burn, just basically do as much damage as I physically can to everything. I like that they roll, that's very cool to me. And then he goes to sleep, I love this. He goes to sleep. How can you be mad at the guy? He goes to sleep. He's just like, you know what, man? I'm having a bad work day. Can you leave me alone? And, you know, you could... You could leave him alone. Or you could just kill him. Get him out of there, right? I love those guys. Those are my favorite creatures in this game, bar none. They are incredible. Truly the best. All right, we're just gonna do a whole bunch of crits here because it seems like the good thing to do. Meanwhile, I have 13 defense because why not? And I guess everything is also dazed. I forget what is causing daze on crit, but that's also pretty good. Damn. All right, looking pretty good here. Crystallarium. I mean, that is just superior unstable effigy which is pretty cool i should probably grab that magic power burn damage magic power burn damage magic power generally speaking i think the rule of thumb is you want numbers to be similar so one magic power would be stronger than two burn damage here so we'll take it what do we get an additional random binding gains a critical charge i would love Nothing more than to have more crits. Excellent. And then, what else do we have? Yeah, I'll take Crystallarium here, sure. Crystallarium number two. And then I have to hold up. You gotta let me fix this for myself real quick. I've gotta have the, com the same items next to each other. It's just really important. And then we go to the final carver to finally get my legendary here. And I claim rewards, which gives me the last legendary in the derelict starship. Double your shield gain. Can I describe to you for a moment how much shield this is? 
Yeah, give me this. Give me that. And behold my strength. Sorry, cheese cards. I bought you just to get rid of you. Excuse me. I would like to direct you to exactly how strong I am right now. We have pulled off the burn crit build of Destiny. I'm going to look at this fish at least. What is this fish? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, okay. We ditch the unstable brew and we walk into the final boss with a 100% crit chance. That seems good to me. Every single skill I use is a crit. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. I'm feeling good about our run here. All I have to do is make it through two combats and then I eat fish and we crunch. We just absolutely crumble the world. I love this boss too. Mimic is a really cool enemy. As long as you have AoE, you can handle this boss. I feel like that's true of so many things in this game. Right? Oh, as long as you have AoE, you solve the problem that is, how do I not just pass away? That's That was a lot of... I just gained 50 shield. I, excuse me. I would like us to discuss this a little more. Here, you want me to do it again? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll lag this game from shield gain. Hmm, is 70 shield good enough? I'm not actually sure. This, this is nonsense. Yes, hit me enemies. Oh, I'm also dodging in case there were any question. It's too bad I don't, I don't carry all my shield over to the future turns. Oh no, slimps, what will they do? Dang, slimps. Do I get controlled weaving? Who is not woven? Who is not woven here? I think I actually do have controlled weaving. Cool. Anyway, here I go clicking on generate 50 shield again. Cool. i pretty confident I just stand in this and we are chilling, yeah? Cool. Grab the orb. And then roll another crit seems fine to me. I'm currently taking zero damage. I'm just standing in whatever this is. And honestly, I'm here for it. Just stand in the enemy, whatever he's doing. I don't know. Whatever this attack is, it isn't that scary. Oh no, 26 damage. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. Gain shield. That's good. I want to stop the enemy from hitting me. I have a ton of HP. We're okay. I apply burn. I am basically just stacking burn here, and I'm okay with that. We sit. Cool. I dodged it anyway. Great. This enemy is not going to stand much of a chance. I'm. I think this is genuinely going to be slow, like painfully slow for me to actually kill enemies here, but. He's going to die, and he's not going to hurt me in the meantime. Which I'm super okay with. Like, his bonk here, I, I just dodged it. It does not matter what he does to me. More slimps, apply burn, orb, apply burn. I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can to this guy. Okay, he's taking something. He bonks, it didn't work. He has a lot of life, though. Let me be clear. Like, I I need to do something about this guy. He's He has a lot of life. Okay, he is phasing on this turn, though. What do you mean I'm taking two damage? I didn't ask your permission to do two damage to me. Cool. All right, he, oh, he hits me for 26, right. I am just face tanking here is the thing. Look, buddy, I need you to not actually... I take zero? Cool. Boss cloak form. All right, like five million enemies are gonna spawn and this would be like, this is gonna look like a really bad turn up until the point where I generate 7,000 shield of the Persian Empire. Whatever this game is doing. Great, we did it. All right, generate shield time. Woo! Orb, where is the boss? No, but really, where did he go? There he is. All right, we found him. I was thinking to myself, like, hey, wait, where is the guy that I'm actually trying to defeat here? Cool. I actually killed literally every enemy there. Let's apply some more burn to him. Seems good. Cool. I dodged it anyway. All right, that was a really good turn, though. Let's be clear. 
I'm going to take the evade frames here just so that I can get a crit roll on this. And just so I can get a crit roll on this. Orb, more fire. Cool. He attacks me, I don't really care. He at least runs back. That's nice of him. It's a lot nicer than it could have been. Do as much damage as I physically can here. And I think we actually get the kill. Zero damage taken. He burns away. Good job. Cool. I actually think we did a good job. That was a bit slow, but we took zero very consistently. So I'm not afraid. More evasive. <laughs> More evasive, right? Yeah, okay. We could do that. I'm actually going to reroll this binding. Yeah, this is what I wanted. I want the 150 crit damage. I could take extracting blink, which does apply cascading amounts of burn, but not a lot. I think the crit rolls are going to be much better on critical stitch here. 150 crit damage is very strong. I am going to also reroll the blink here. Not very impressive. What is this? What is this? Refraction? Blur? Gain two stacks of evasive, gain critical charge on two bindings, and gain movement. I guess these aren't terrible, but why? I mean, the alternative is I don't really need rope burn here, in fact. I could take it, but it's not really that important. Four stacks of evasive. <laughs> Four stacks of evasive. I think two stacks of evasive is already enough, since I've also got Moss Mother's Embrace. I'm going to dodge everything. On dodging gain ability. Actually, isn't refraction sick for burns? Because I dodge at the end of my turn, then they take burn damage. So this is just like two ability power. Yeah, okay. Actually, I'm going to take refraction. Sure. Seems good to me. Let's go. I'm like lagging the game with how much shield I'm generating, and I am an entirely here for it. Give me damage. Eight crit chance. I'm going to click this because it means when I actually use these potions, I have 103 crit chance. And I really want this run to have over 100 crit chance in its title. So we're going to just click on that. And this is, this is the video game we're playing right now. We're currently experiencing, can I crit on every attack? Yes, I can. 100% I can. Oh no, I might take damage if I attack here. I honestly don't care. All right, pull everything in. We're going for it. Well, bam. Wait for it. Oh, they just actually pass away. Cool. We're actually doing okay here. That, that was a very deadly attack. Wow. We just killed whatever those enemies were. What are they called? Let's find out today. Barbed Banshee. Oh, buddy. Okay. Crit. No damage taken. Quest complete. Inflict burn. Seems good. 24 block is probably enough to win the run. Yeah, that seems like a good number too. Just crumple everything. Woo! Alright, then we just apply more burn. 46 block on that turn. Seems okay. Yeah, attack me. I don't have to move. It's good to have a good run, okay? You know, it's good. Weaver paid out here. We're having a nice solid run of it here. Excellent work. Controlled weaving online. I, I rolled the crits, feeling good about it. 18 block, 36 block immediately. Amazing. We're just gonna pull in and kill most enemies. More burn. I just stand here. I genuinely just stand here with my 56 block and ignore everything. Cool. Cool. Also, inflict frostbite, apparently, because something in my run... Oh, yeah, it's these... These threads are doing it. Cool. Great work. All right, I'm having a, I'm having a good one here. Orb. End turn. Standing in whatever this effect is. I just do not care. They look kind of cool, but they don't stand a chance. Well done. We did it. What is this? Wolo's blood letter. More damage. Ultimate damage. 
ability power. No, buddy, give me that crit damage. We're, that's where we're at today. Big number. What is this? No, 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 no. I don't know what any of this... I like 60 damage, actually. Hold up, let me change my tune there. Although, really, an extra orb? That seems nice. You know what that means? That's an extra sew and an extra constrict. Yeah, all right, extracting blink, let's go. I'm 100% on board with it. I actually don't think I've even used refraction once, and I'm okay with that. Another legendary. I don't think I'm going to take enough damage for this to ever be relevant. True, in fact. I might just spin this. Blessed Brickstones are very boring. Eventually, they give me enough damage that this will prevent like the enemy from stalling me out. All right. I mean, technically, it's better than Crystallarium after a few turns, so I'll grab it. Sure. All right. All right. We're fine. Moving on. Unnecessary money. And the last carver shop. It's pretty unlikely you have anything I could even afford, let alone want. Let's just go and kill... Let's just go kill God and move on with our lives, right? It's all over here. But wait! I haven't clicked them yet. I would like to present my ultimate power here. Wait for it. Uh-huh. Hey, wait, they don't stack? What do you mean? Of course, I'm, I'm, well, you know what? I don't care what you say. I'm, I'm happy with how this turned out. Whatever. I didn't ask your opinion, Mr. Inkbound video game. Psh, I'm very upset about that. That's rude. Burns. Psh, that's so annoying. What do you mean fish don't stack? I was so excited. Someone out there in the comments is yelling at me that fish don't stack. It's fine. I'm going to call this run the over 100% hit chance and no one can stop me. What are you going to do? Tell me I'm wrong? No, of course not. You're not going to tell me I'm wrong. I can't be wrong. It's physically impossible. More burn. And then I'm just going to sit on this ability power. I don't actually know where those show up. Do they show up? Great question. It's okay. I have. I can get rid of all this nonsense by eating the orb. Cool, we ate the orb. Feeling good about ourselves. We did the thing. I, I'm extremely slow on damage, for the record. Just painstakingly slow. Oh, it's because he's got the shimmering barricade. I just, you look at this and you go, hey, wait. This doesn't add up. Why all of a sudden is he's not taking enough damage? Because he has shield, right? Right, we crit, we orb, crit. We just kind of sit in the goop because I don't care. I guess I can go walk over here. Let me let me at least pay attention to the mechanics. All right, we ate it. We got rid of the bad stuff. Look, we did it, okay? We did it. Orb. We teleport. I get Cinderpox and don't really feel bad about it. Right? I just don't. True. Bam, hit the guy. Okay. Burn damage. Let's go. Orb. Wait for it. Burn damage. Hit that guy over there. He's got a lot of life. All right, we're chilling. Oh, wait. I can't do it again because the orb already existed. That's okay. I'm not really worried about it. Oh no, I took some damage or something. Stand, take the orb, burn the man. Hit the boss because I think I need to do that. Take the orb, hit the man. I can get that kill here real quick. Yeah, I get that kill here, I'm okay with it. Zap him. He dead yet? He is dead. Doesn't really matter. Ah, Cinderpox, I stood in the bad thing. It's okay. I'm not really worried about it because I can just spawn it here, grab it, 
we are at the stage where I can genuinely kind of just ignore mechanics, which is cool. That's it's a good situation to be in, in my opinion. Go for the crit, take the orb. I don't think the supplies burns when he's away, so it's kind of lame, I suppose. Yeah, perhaps a little suboptimal. I guess I may as well move out of the goop, right? Sure. Take the orb, sit on the turn. Fine. Enemy has landed though, but I don't think he's gonna walk very far, unfortunately. Crit. May as well shoot him. Orb, crit. Spawn an orb. Crit. Hit him again for the crit. Walk, oh, wait, wait, wait. First things first, eat the mushroom, then walk away. And now I put the ability power on myself. This guy will attack me. Right, I gain the two, so it does add up a little extra damage. Cool, and I'm pretty sure this will be the end of this man's natural existence. Oh, it won't be actually, and we all understand why. It's because of he's flying and the shimmering barricade exists. So that's okay, we take the orb. I will just crit this goon out. More burn damage. Take the mushroom for no real reason other than that we can. Orb. More burn damage. All right, we're good. Now, I think we can phase here, but I can also just let this tree man run around and it's okay. True. I'm gonna take the orb here. All right, we did it. Cool. I guess I am gonna take the crit just cause it stops me from taking damage. I will leave this tangled thing alive for an extra turn because there's no reason not to. It technically does improve my damage on this turn specifically, which is kind of neat. I'm gonna do the attack to finish him. I'm gonna attack, gain shield. Five. Apparently, I'm very good at gaining shield in this run. Who knew? Orb. Wait for it. More burn damage. It pretty much burns entirely through the Shimmering Barricade here, which is great news. Cool. In fact, I feel pretty good about our current situation. Blast upstairs. We burn here. Orb, burn, jump, orb, burn, crit, crit, win, end turn, victory. Hey, we take these. Let's go, Weaver. All right. I mean, honestly, I'm still calling this a 100% crit run, and you can't stop me because I refuse to believe that fish are not stackable. That is not described anywhere in game and I don't think I've ever actually experienced that before. So you can't hold that against me, all right? I'm going to name this, the keyword in this run is, where is it? We're gonna use the word, this, this legendary relic is when this run kind of became obscene, the contrition of a lira. So I'm going to say, this is, a, this is a mouthful. So we're going to use the word Alira as our keyword for the Scribbles giveaway today. So if you use and spell it right, I'm not going to I'm not going to be mean about it. But A-L-L-Y-R-A. Yeah, there it is. It's on the screen. That's your keyword for the giveaway. If you type that into a sentence, I don't know. Tell me about your craziest shield generation runs and we can full pop off and talk about it. And that will be the discussion point. Otherwise, though, pretty bizarre, but good run. Turns out clicking the burn trinket on a burn classic unit or class rather is pretty good. We had a very strong burn run and we're basically indestructible. That said, our damage was also really good, it turns out. So 
Good stuff. A good hybrid run actually here. Very high crit rolls, crit generating defense, and yeah. Shocking Core Cap is genuinely one of my favorite rare relics. I love afflicting days like this. That's just excellent. 15% crit chance is a huge great payout there. Big fan. It's good stuff. A lot of defense in here too between Refraction, Shield, and the Moss Mother's Embrace. And again, yeah, the shield from the broken rail. So pretty crazy. Anyway, I will let you all go there. So yeah, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.